Hello, welcome back to another recipe. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to make lasagna without ricotta cheese. Yes, I know everyone hates, hate ricotta cheese. So I'm here to show you guys an easy recipe without ricotta cheese. This recipe is cheesy. It's hearty, it's meaty, it's really, really good. So if you want to see how it's done, be sure to keep on watching. Subscribe if you're new. Do not forget to give the video a big, big thumbs up for me, please. And without further ado, let's make it. These are the seasoning that I'll be seasoning my ground beef with. They are thyme, Creole seasoning, ground black pepper, oregano, basil, garlic, Italian seasoning, and salt. In a skillet, I added about one teaspoon of oil, then I'll be adding my ground beef. Once you add your ground beef in there, make sure you break it down so it doesn't end up into chunks of ground beef. Make sure you break it down with a spoon. Now I'll be adding about two tablespoons of minced garlic, fresh garlic that is. Next I'll be adding one cup of yellow onions. Now mine's a little frozen, so you can use regular one. <laughs> Now give it a stir until everything is well combined. Once your ground beef give you a nice grayish color just like so without any blood in it, we're going to start seasoning our ground beef. Now I am just going to pour all the seasoning that I showed you guys earlier into this ground beef and mix it all up together. Now you can taste it for salt and if you need to add more seasoning you can add more but I didn't have to add any type of seasoning after. Now we're going to use one prego sauce. It is a chunky tomato, basil, garlic flavor sauce. We're going to add that in there and then I am going to rinse it out. I am going to pour water in it and fill it up all the way to the top and then we're going to pour that in there. Just give it a quick shake because there's still tomato sauce in there or you can use beef broth, chicken broth. If you have some, just pour it in there, rinse it out and pour it into your ground beef. Now I will be adding about, I'll say one third cup of tomato paste. Just add your tomato paste in there. And next I'll be adding some chopped parsley i'm using about half a cup of chopped parsley give that a quick mix until everything is well combined and then we're going to let this simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes okay you want it to simmer on low so let it simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes this is how it looks before it started to simmer <music> Just cover it and let it simmer like I said. Now we're going to move on to our noodle, our lasagna noodle. I added my water into this pot here. You can follow the direction on the lasagna box that you're going to use. That's exactly what I did. I am going to add a little bit of oil so my pasta doesn't stick after they are done cooking. A little bit of salt. Once my water comes to a boil, I am going to add my lasagna in there. Now this is how I add them. I spread them out and then once they're nice and kind of soft, I just push them down in the water. Now if you have a better way, you can let me know down below the way you do yours, but that's how I do mine. Now I am going to cook the lasagna for about seven to I'll say nine minutes because you don't want to overcook it. It's going to cook for a long, long time under the oven. So you do not want to overcook it. Now I am going to cover it, let it cook. By now my 
meat, my beef, shall be nice and cooked 30 minutes later. And then as well as my pasta, it should be cooked 7 minutes later or 8 minutes later. This is it. Nice and soft or not too soft because it's not fully cooked. Okay, now this is the cheese we're going to replace the ricotta cheese with. It's, it is queso or queso fresco. I am going to leave the exact link down below. Be sure to check it out if you guys are interested. I used it before. It's really tasty, so I am going to use it again. I am use, using the whole container. Then I added another cheese, with, which is mozzarella cheese as well as some parmesan cheese the measurement will be down below as always so check it out now we're going to add one egg actually two i'm adding one at first and then we're going to add a little bit of chopped parsley mix it all up together then i'll be adding my other egg in there <music> Now this is me adding my other egg, mix it all up together just like so. All right, now we shall have everything ready, the meat, the cheese, and the lasagna noodle. Now we're going to assemble the lasagna. I am going to start by adding one spoonful of the meat in there. Now the meat is nice and tasty, you guys. You can definitely just add this in a bread loaf and just eat it just as is that's how tasty and delicious it was okay <laughs> once you add your first layer of the beef next we're adding our lasagna noodle just add three or you can add four because i did ended up having some leftovers so i am going to add another layer of the beef and then we'll be adding the cheese on top now i am going to add some more mozzarella on top of that cheese keep that in mind <laughs> Now I am going in with the mozzarella cheese. I am adding another layer on top of the cheese that we added. Once you finish adding your cheese, you're going to add another layer of the lasagna noodle. Now it's time for me to add another layer of the beef. Just pour it all over. Once you cover all the noodle, then you'll go back and add some more cheese again. And next I'll be adding the mozzarella cheese on top of that cheese. Now it's time to add my last layer of the lasagna noodle. Now I did add it about four or five extra because I did have some left over. Now it's time to add the meat. We're going to pour the meat all over it and then we'll be adding the cheese. Now it's time for the cheese. I am going to add the rest of the cheese mixture and then I'll be topping it off with my mozzarella cheese. I ended up using about, I'll say 24 ounces of mozzarella cheese in total. I'm not sure how many cup is that. Do the math, Google it, I don't know. <laughs> so just put that on there and then I ended up adding a little bit of fresh parsley on top for decoration and then we're going to bake it on 375 for 50 minutes okay 375 for 50 minutes do not open your oven don't touch it let it do its thing and then you should be ready to go And there it is guys, it is that easy. You have yourself homemade lasagna without the ricotta cheese. Easy and very simple. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to give the video a thumbs up please. 
please help me get the video to 500 likes and also do not forget to subscribe if you are new here on island vibe cooking i will see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.